Hello, everyone, and welcome to your bonus weekend tarot reading. So I will be starting off with the beautiful, gorgeous, and intelligent Capricorn. So Capricorn, let's get started. So for your tarot reading, I will be taking our cards for who's coming into your life very soon, everything that you need to know. Another thing I want to mention, this reading will be only on your person's perspective. So these cards will be on the person that's coming in. So it's kind of like giving you a heads up. Is it snooping? Yes, it is. Absolutely. But this is to give you a heads up, is to give you clarity and a little step forward too. So Capricorn, let's get started. Who is coming into your life very soon? Everything you need to know, please. Three cards. We have one. Two, three. Okay, let's have a look. Mm. So we do have the tower. Who's coming into your life? Someone, something that's going to be completely life changing. Ooh, ten of swords. Interesting. What else do we have? Temperance. Who's coming into your life? Someone's definitely from your past coming. Someone that's been very, very hurt. Like the Ten of Swords is like literally the worst card in the deck. <laughs> I have to say this, but whoever is coming, will it, yes, it will be life changing, but at the same time, is it really good news? Hmm. They are coming with their challenges. Yes. It is someone that, think about it, someone that you've got a bit of a history with. It could have been a really bad breakup, but at the same time, even though there is a bit of a history with temperance, they want, they're bringing that balance here. So this person wants to bring balance. This person wants an opportunity because at the same time with temperance, it's like, hey, give me another chance. Let's try to work things out. Let's try to see how things go. At the same time, yeah, this concerns me a little bit. Something completely life-changing, but you also have quite a challenging card and a positive card too. So overall, yes, Capricorn, this will fall on your shoulders in the sense you're going to have to decide what you want to do. Now, they're not forgetting about the past. Absolutely not. No, they're still carrying the past with them. And again, I feel also with you, Capricorn, you've been hurt but this person, again, they felt that blow of hitting rock bottom here, feeling that deceit, feeling like stabbed in the back, literally. And now they want to come back with temperance. They want that balance. They want to know, hey, can this work again? Can we give this another go? So I'm going to take out another card about this person because we need to know a little bit more. What else should... Capricorn, no, please. Oops, too much. Yeah, Page of Swords, interesting. So this person is spying on you, Capricorn. This is the card of spying. So it could be the spying card, like spying on you online, looking at anything on social media about you. Like it could be photos, anything like Facebook, Instagram, and they're very, very curious about you, Capricorn. They're very curious. They want to know what you're up to and they want to come back into your life, especially with temperance, because they want to show that they've changed, that they have the, the stability, if I could talk, the stability. They want to show that they have love and devotion. Now with the Page of Swords, sometimes this could come with a bit of a delay, this could also come with a bit of challenging news. This challenge could refer to the Ten of Swords. Like this person could probably bring up stuff from the past, stuff that's already gone, finished, but they might bring up stuff from the past. So because we know with the Page of Swords, it can come with a bit of challenging news, but welcome it because it will give you clearer understanding what to do. In other words, Capricorn, you're going to know if this person is worth having into your life, yes or no. With the Page of Swords, you're going to have clear eyes and epiphany. You're finally going to see things a lot clearly. So, you know what? 
perhaps let's take out one more card for Capricorn. What else is this person's intentions? Yeah, okay, I can see why. This person is bored without you. That's why Capricorn. They're feeling sorry for themselves. They're feeling melancholic. They're thinking about the good old days. They're thinking about the fun times that they had with you. So that's why they want to come back into your life because they're just bored. They're, and again, it's been a rough past, but they're really, really bored. They want to come back. They want that opportunity. It's going to all fall down to you, Capricorn, what you want to do. Excellent. So thank you so much, Capricorn, for joining me. Have an amazing weekend. Power to you. Hello, Aries, and welcome to your bonus weekend tarot reading. So Aries, let's find out who's coming into your life very soon. Literally, let's cover everything that you need to know. Now, this reading will be from your other person's perspective, from their point of view. So like I mentioned in the beginning of this reading, yes, it is a little bit snoopy, but this reading is here to give you a heads up. It's to give you an understanding what is happening behind the scenes, things that you cannot see. Let's give you a heads up. Let's find out what your person is thinking, what they're doing, and who's coming. Let's find out, please. One more shuffle, please. Okay, three cards, please. What does Aries need to know, please? Who's coming? One. Two. Three. Okay, let's have a look, Aries. What do we have? Strength. This person is finding the strength and the courage to reach out to you, Aries. Absolutely. They're finding that inner strength, all their it's like it's like literally taking everything for them to reach out to you because they love you. That's why you have the lover's card, Gemini energy, Leo energy. Yeah, this person has true true feelings for you. This is why they want to come back into your life. Do you expect it to come in a form of invitation. So this can happen a couple of ways. You might receive an invitation from this person or Aries, you might go somewhere, somewhere very social and run into this person. And that's where the magic happens. Now you do have positive cards here. I can see this person is coming with good intentions, just using these three cards, but this person is literally finding the courage to go up to you. So again, this might be fate, just meeting at the right place at the right time. And this person's going to master that inner courage to say, Aries, hi. So yeah, this person, yeah, they're, they're going to have that strength, that courage to come into your life here. Now, this is not indicating if you know this person, it's not indicating if this is an ex though. But again, with Three of Cups, it's showing a very social event. Could be with family, could be with friends, but there is some sort of social gathering that's going to influence this. Thank you very much, Aries. Have an amazing day. Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your bonus weekend tarot reading. So, Gemini, let's have a look. Who's coming into your life? Everything that you need to know. Heads up here, I am doing this reading from your person's point of view, from their perspective. Is it snooping? Yes, it is. But the whole point of this reading is to give you a heads up, you know, kind of give you, you know, an advance to see what is going on, who's coming into your life, what is that you need to know, please. So let's get started, Gemini. Okay, we've already got one card. One. Two more cards, please. Come on. Two.
three. Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay, Gemini. You have the chariot, the fastest major arcana. There is something fast coming towards you. Yeah, this person is literally traveling towards you. At the same time, they're afraid. They're absolutely terrified. As you can see with the Eight of Swords, they're feeling the worst case scenario. They're afraid of how you're going to take this person back. How are you going to react? This is someone from your past, especially with the Six of Cups. This is someone probably like an ex-lover, and you've known this person for quite a while, actually. This person, like you, you definitely have a history with this person, but they're definitely traveling towards you. Now, apart from the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, you have to remember, it is a mental card, but this person is traveling with good intentions, really good energy, really good intentions, and again... This is really, this is fast energy, Gemini. Like you're probably not even going to expect this. This is why this reading is giving you a heads up here. Fast energy, traveling. Now you're probably dealing with someone that's a foreigner, someone that's very well traveled and they're terrified. Terrified of rejection, terrified of how might you react. Also Gemini, because this is also Gemini energy. The Six of Cups, again, you know this person. If you don't know this person, you've known them from a past life. There is some sort of connection that you've known them, perhaps from school even, or a job, something. But this person wants to reconnect with you. Why? This person does is they're, they're very, they're thinking about the past in the sense, the good old times, the fun times that this person had with you, Gemini. Let's be honest, Gemini, you are fun. You are literally the light of the room. No wonder people want to always want to come back into your life because you know that saying, you don't know what you have until it's gone. So yes, this person is traveling towards you. They're bringing good intention, really good news. They're a bit afraid, but definitely what I would do, Jim and I, definitely hear this person out. See what they have to say because you never know what this could lead to. But yeah, I love this. Love this. Beautiful card definitely someone coming towards you. You've got a history with them. You know this person. Absolutely. The Six of Cups is already indicating that. Some sort of, as the years have gone past, you know this person. Absolutely. Amazing. Thank you so much, Jim and I, for joining me. Have an amazing day. Hello, Leo, and welcome to your bonus weekend tarot reading. So let's find out who's coming into your life very, very soon, Leo. What is everything that you need to know? Now, this reading will be on the other person's perspective from their point of view. So yes, we're going to be snooping around, seeing who's coming into your life, but this is to give you, Leo, a heads up. Yes, why not? It's supposed to give you clarity, a heads up, an indication what to expect. So let's find out who is coming. Okay, what does Leah need to know? Three cards, please. One. Two. Oh, there's four. Okay, I'll take that. Four, what do we have? Ooh, three of swords. Nine of pentacles. Yeah. Okay, this person's quite a handful already. Someone that broke your heart wants to come back. They've changed though. With the Nine of Pentacles, they have moved on. They have improved their life. They're showing that independence. They, like in other words, they're in a good place right now. And they want to show you that, hey, I'm independent now. I'm in a good place. At the same time though, they are defensive. Oh yeah. They come in with a defensive attitude because at the same time, <laughs> it's connected with the Three of Swords here. So I would not be surprised um, because this person did break your heart. They might say, look, it wasn't entirely my fault. Leo, you did this also or you caused this Leo. And the thing is, though, they're not 100% how to approach you. Like they want to come back, yes, but at the same time, they don't know how to do it. 
Like they have their good days, they have their bad days. And at the same time with the two of pentacles, they don't know how to approach you. They're like, how should I approach Leo? Should I call Leo? Should I do it face to face? What should I do? But yeah, this person definitely broke your heart. They've done something. We, we know with the three of uh, the three of swords, it's a third party intrusion. So there may have been a secret affair, or there could have been perhaps people meddling into your relationship. Nine of Pentacles, yes, this person did a lot of growing up to do. They had to get their act together. Also with the Nine of Wands, yeah, this person is still defensive. At the same time, they miss you with the Two of Pentacles. They're like deciding, oh, how? what else can I do? Like, what, what, what should I do? So let's get, let's get one more card out for Leo, please. What does Leo need to know? One more card about this person because this person's a little bit indecisive. Yeah, see, here we go. Th the five of pentacles. Yeah. Leo, you rejected this person. That's what's happened here. Because they broke your heart, of course, you rejected them. But the five of pentacles, they feel rejected. They feel abandoned. They feel left out in the cold. But you know what the thing is? This, this person, look. They didn't exactly act really good towards you. So they're feeling really hurt. They're feeling so abandoned at this very moment. What's their intention? What's their intention? Yeah, see, Leo, we have the Queen of Swords. There's stuff that they, they want to say to you. There's things that they need to get off their chest. And... They're not coming in. I'm not going to say they're not coming in exactly with lovely emotions. No, they're coming in with a bit of bit of an attitude. I'm going to say because remember the Queen of Swords, she's like the well, she, he or she. It doesn't really matter. The Queen of Swords, she's like the type of attitude that she has is like this. You know what? I'm going to give you five minutes to talk. So they're coming in with that little bit um, annoyed attitude because you rejected them, Leo. So they're. They're very defensive in the sense, oh, how dare you reject me? How dare you do this to me? This wasn't entirely my fault. So what do they want to do? They just want to come back, get stuff off their chairs. If anything, I feel like they're a bit of a troublemaker, to be honest, because they still want to come. They still want to get something off their chest. So this is giving you already a heads up, Leo. Someone that broke your heart, they're quite still defensive and I feel like they still want to, they want to say something to you because remember the queen of swords is the card of communication. So this person, yeah, they're definitely going to communicate with you. Excellent. So I hope this is giving, this is giving you a heads up, Leo. Thank you, Leo. Have an amazing day. Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your bonus weekend tarot reading. Thank you, Sagittarius, for joining me. So, Sagittarius, let's find out who is coming into your life, please. Let's find out everything that you need to know. This reading will be on your person's perspective. So, from their point of view, I'm pulling out cards on their behalf. Yes, it's a bit of snooping, but this reading is here to give you a heads up. Everything that you need to know, Sagittarius. So, let's find out who is coming in. What is it that you need to know, please? Okay. One, two, three. Excellent. So what do we have? Oh, six of pentacles. Nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, even better. Excellent. First of all, Sagittarius, you've got nothing to worry about. Six of pentacles. Who's coming into your life? This is someone that wants to be very generous. It's about equal give and take. So this person wants to give a lot into you, Sagittarius. In other words, put their input because they have really, really strong feelings about you. The King of Cups. So the King of Cups could be someone with water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, the King of Cups is known to be quite romantic, very romantic. And yeah, they're definitely coming. I'm gonna even I'm actually even suspecting that this person is already in your life because the six of pentacles, think about it for a moment, how they're giving each other pentacles here. It's a very generous card. This person is very, very generous, very warm-hearted, 
very in tune with their emotions, very stable also. Definitely don't play games. And here you have justice here. This person, well, first of all, they bring balance. Balance in the sense the scales are balanced here. So this person wants the same things like you, Sagittarius. This person wants this. How, well, this I would actually even say this person has the same views, the same values. Justice can also mean signing a contract. So yes, this could be an engagement, wedding, signing a wedding certificate, of course. This person is coming with good intentions, very good intentions. This is not indicating whether you know this person or not. Anything this is telling you that something life-changing is coming towards you, absolutely. And this person has very good intentions. I love this with the Six of Pentacles and with Justice. It shows that this person is very balanced. They're not all over the place. No, no, no. They know exactly what they want in their life. And they're willing to share everything with you, Sagittarius, whether it's house, money, family, whatever it is. This is this person's literally the package, I'm going to say. And they bring lots of balance. They'll bring that love, devotion, and attention for you, Sagittarius. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now. Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your bonus weekend tarot reading. So, Taurus, let's find out who's coming into your life, everything that you need to know. This reading will be on your other person's perspective, so from their point of view. And this reading is supposed to give you a heads up, so you understand exactly who's coming into your life and with what intentions. Let's begin, Taurus. Shuffle these cards. Three cards, please. Okay, what do we have? Hmm, Page of Swords, Knight. Wow. Okay, here we go. Page of Swords. There's someone very curious about you, Taurus. This person's even spying on you online. The spying card, absolutely. It's the card of curiosity. Perhaps even watching you online in a creepy way, but looking at your photos, whatever that you're posting. So whether it's LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Facebook, whatever it is, yeah. This person's trying to find out very a lot of information about you. They're going to be moving very fast towards you. It's to the point that it's life-changing with the tower. Tower is a major arcana. The tower, it's like it's inevitable. It's going to happen. You can't avoid this. As, as much as you're going to try to avoid it, you can't avoid it. So this person is definitely coming fast towards you. Now, does this person have good intentions? Let's find out. Because if I see the tower, I kind of like want to know more, please. So what is this person's inten intention, please? Just one card. Oh, two cards came out. Okay, fair enough. Yep. Yeah. So you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card here. So this person is working very, very hard to somehow reach out to you. They're finding that courage, that inner strength to have that courage to go up to you, to come back into your life here. So yes, this person, I will definitely say, Taurus, you don't have anything to worry about. This person definitely has good intention, but they're coming with something very life-changing. And they're so quick. You could even say with the Knight of Swords, it's quite an impulsive energy that they don't care if they look silly. No, it's like, come what may. I need to contact Taurus and it will come more in a form as a message. So this person might reach out through text message or they might DM you, some form like that. And it will happen a lot sooner than what you think. We have two major arcanas, the Tower and also the Strength. So this person is really finding that courage to contact you, to reach out to you, I would definitely give this person a chance because you do have great cards. There's no challenging cards. It's going to be all good, Taurus. Fantastic. So Taurus, hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you at the next reading. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your weekend tarot reading. So Scorpio, who's coming into your life? Everything that you need to know. So this reading will be 
not on you, Scorpio. It will be from your person's perspective. This person coming in, I will be pulling out cards on their behalf. So from their point of view. And this reading is intended to give you a heads up, Scorpio. Is it snooping? Yeah, it is. But this reading is, this intention of this reading is to help you, to give you a heads up. So let's find out. Let's pull out three cards. Who's coming into this picture, please? One, <clears throat> two, one more, please. And three. What do we have? Mm, King of Wands. Wow, the Empress. Oh my God. Scorpio, so far the best card. So I'm going to say, yeah, you've got a divine male here. Fire sign could be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. That's going to take action. We know either the king or the queen, they are known to take action. It's like, please hold my wand. I need to do this. Yes. And we also have the empress. The empress is the card of abundance. Yes. This person is coming back into your life. And what are they bringing? Abundance. They're bringing joy, bliss. But most importantly, especially with the empress, the empress is showing a strong foundation. So yes, this person has absolutely wonderful intentions and you also have the wheel of fortune from being at the bottom. Yeah, this person is going to be on top of the wheel. This is also the travel card. So this person is definitely going to be traveling to you, Scorpio. We have two major arcanas and also a court card. So this is already like a range. It's already destined to happen, but it's also giving you a heads up too. Now, remember, this person that's coming in, this is also the card of fertility. This could mean pregnancy too. This could be, this person, in other words, could bring a foundation where you could start a family with this person. You can literally do anything. But most importantly is stability. Now, when I say will of fortune, think about this. This is going to be out of sheer luck, but it's destined. It's going to be absolutely destined. So I see adventure with this person. I see travel. I see luck. I see prosperity. But most of all, abundance. This person is very, I'm going to say, very attracted towards you. And they're, they're going to flirt, absolutely. The king of wands is known to flirt, to have that sexual energy, especially towards their partner. So overall, Scorpio, fantastic reading fantastic outcome. You can definitely trust this person that's coming into your life. And most importantly, yes, they are coming with good intentions. Thank you so much, Scorpio. I wish you a beautiful day. I'll see you at the next reading. Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your bonus weekend tarot reading. So Cancer, let's find out who's coming into your life very soon. Everything that you need to know. Now, this reading will not be on you, this will re this reading is purposely on the person coming into your life. So from their perspective, their point of view, and this reading is purposely trying to give you a heads up. So giving you a heads up so you can see who is coming into your life, Cancer. Let's find out. Three cards, please. One more shuffle, please. Okay, three cards, please. What does Cancer need to know? Who is coming? One, two, three. Wow, Cancer, <laughs> that's the first thing I'm going to say. A golden opportunity is coming your way. This person, first of all, you don't know who this person is, but this person is bringing a golden opportunity. Like they're bringing something tangible, something solid, something like you've never have experienced before. The wheel of fortune, this is all about divine timing. This is destined to happen. Your spirit team, this person's spirit team are working in the backgrounds to make this happen. You don't know who this person is, 
The high priestess is all about secrets and mystery. And this person is using their intuition about you, Cancer. You're not going to see it coming. Absolutely not. This will be quite a surprise, quite a shock, a good surprise, of course, beautiful surprise. But is this person coming with great intentions? Yes, that's a big fat yes, Cancer. So absolutely, this in in fact, you know, a Cancer, you don't even have to do anything. You just have to go with the flow here. Go with the flow because you have two major arcanas, and you also have a brand new cycle. A new cycle is going to start. And with the Ace of Pentacles, it's about, and we know Pentacles is about finances, but in terms of love, this is about a solid foundation, stability, something that's someone that's coming here with structure, discipline, a good head on their shoulders. They don't play games. No, absolutely not. No, this person loves stability and it's going to feel out of luck. It's going to feel, oh my God, I can't believe this person's in my life. I can't believe this person just sprung up. And this is also the travel card. So Cancer, whether you're planning of going away, going on a holiday, yeah, go with the flow. Say yes to everything. Opportunities, like even opportunities that fall into your lap. And if you think, oh, I was just lucky. No, no, no. Everything's predestined here. And again, you, you don't know this person. This person is coming with great intentions and they're going to change your life. Definitely hold on to this person, Cancer, this person that's coming in here. We do have Ace of Pentacles, could be Earth sign, or they could have Earth in their chart, but fantastic. Excellent. These, this is a beautiful reading. So whoever, this person that's coming into your life, you have nothing to worry about. And definitely hold on to them. Go with the flow. Say yes to everything, opportunities, anything like that falls into your lap, grasp it, take it. Excellent. Thank you so much, Cancer. Wish you a beautiful day. I'll see you at the next reading. Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your bonus weekend tarot reading. So, Pisces, let's find out who's coming into your life, everything that you need to know. This reading will not be like the cards I'm going to pull out, won't be on you, but it will be on the person that's coming into your life. So, from their point of view, their perspective. And the point of this reading is to give you a heads up. So you can understand, is this person coming with good intentions? What, what are their intentions? Are they good or bad? Let's find out. Let's get started, Pisces. Three cards, please. Whatever cards pop out. Three cards, please. One. Two, three, eight of wands, wow, the magician, queen of wands, how interesting. We have a fire sign, well, two major, sorry, we have a major arcana, a minor, and a court card. The queen of wands. Yeah, someone's definitely going to take action and come towards you, Pisces. Queen of Wands, literally, it's this attitude. Oh, my one, please. I need to do this. This person is manifesting this. They are literally, they can literally manifest anything because they have all the tools, all the necessary resources to do literally anything. So this person is very, very resourceful. And yes, you also have the minor arcana of the chariot, the eight of wands. There is fast news coming towards you. Pisces, very, very fast, very, these are messages of passion, lots of passion here, as you can see the fire, like th there is that excitement, nervousness, feeling that, mm, feel kind of like feeling like a teenager again actually, but this is all beautiful, like there's wands, wands, there's a lot of potential here, the magician is Virgo and Gemini energy here, so do expect some form of message travel towards you. Your person may be a foreigner, may be well-traveled, 
may come from a different country, may have an accent here, but this person is coming with good intentions. No challenging cards here, but they are quite original, quite the magician to manifest anything. They can do literally anything. They set their mind to do something, they will do it. And here, the fire in their in the palm of their hand, they're not afraid to take action. They're not afraid to reach out, Pisces. So even if you were to reject her, let's just say if you were to reject this person, they do not care. They just want to make sure that they took the action, that they went up to you and they said whatever that they needed to say. Now, again, there may be distance between you or this person is traveling from a different country, they're traveling to you. You might meet this person through work and maybe through parties, but this person, yeah, they're coming with lots of emotions. You have nothing to worry about, Pisces. Great cards, no challenging cards, but it will be quite magical, very magical, something that you have never have experienced. This person can do anything. Thank you so much, Pisces, for joining me. Have an amazing day. Hello, Libra, and welcome to your bonus weekend tarot reading. So, Libra, let's find out who's coming into your life very, very soon. Let's find out everything that you need to know. The cards I will be pulling out will be on the other person's perspective, not you, Libra, but we're going to find out this person from their point of view, their intentions. So, from their perspective, let's find out. Let's pull out some cards. And the purpose of this reading is to give you, Libra, a heads up. So let's get started. Let's find out. Three cards, please. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, two cards popped up. I will take that. And here we go. So we have the chariot, the magician. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. The magician, this person's quite original, quite creative, quite magical, I'm going to say. The magician is Virgo and Gemini energy. This person has the power and the will to manifest anything. They have all the tools, all the necessary resources to do literally anything. If they need to travel on a shoestring budget, they will do it. They will get from A to B. We're very creative. So if they need to reach you, Libra, they will find a way to do it. You also have the seven of wands. They don't even care competition around you, the people around you. They, this person doesn't even care if you even reject him. Re, sorry. This person does not even care if you reject them, Libra, because this person, they could have friends around them saying, oh my God, are you serious? You want to talk to Libra? You stand no chance. You know, that's way out of your scale. They're like, I don't care. I don't care. It's like, you're going to travel for this person. You're going to do all of this just, just for this one person. I don't care. I need to do this. I need to reach out to Libra. This person is definitely going to reach out to you with the chariot, the travel card. This person is feeling very adventurous. This person just wants to get on their chariot. Go for it full steam ahead. So overall, Libra, yes, this person has great intentions despite all the odds against them. They don't care. It's like they're really following their heart, not their head. They're listening to their heart and then they're just going for it. So yes, this person may be a foreigner, may be well-traveled, but they are coming towards you, Libra. They've got good intentions, two major arcanas and a minor destined to happen. So your spirit team, this person's spirit team are working in the backgrounds to make this happen. So Libra, yeah, I would definitely say yes. I would definitely hear this person out, see what they have to say because you've got excellent cards and they're doing everything in their power to reach out to you, Libra. And they, this is cancer energy. This will happen a lot quicker than what you think. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Libra, for joining me. Have an amazing weekend. Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your bonus weekend tarot reading. So, Virgo, 
let's find out who's coming into your life very soon. Everything that you need to know. The cards I will be pulling out are not your cards. It will be on the person that's coming into your life. So from their point of view, their perspective, and the whole point of this is to give you a heads up, Virgo. Kind of like snooping around a bit, you could say, but with good intention. So let's find out who's coming into your life, please. Three cards. One. Two. Three. Nine of Swords. Page of Wands. And the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. So this is who's, first of all, yeah, the queen of pentacles, even though I am pulling cards on your person's perspective, but here you are, Virgo, the queen of pentacles. This person's thinking about you. They definitely want to return to you because let's be honest, Virgo, you're queen of your domain. You're cool, calm, collected, you're disciplined. You have a good structure in your life. You're good with money also. You know how to save, how to invest. This person will be reaching out with a message, with the page of wands. This the page of wands. Do expect this person to reach out with a lot of passion. There will be lots of emotions into this message. At the same time, with the nine of swords, they're afraid, terrified, I'm going to say. That's the word, terrified to message you. They're afraid of what you're going to say. They're afraid how you might react. You might scream at them. You might reject them. It's it's to the point with the nine of swords, they can't sleep at night. If anything, they're stressing. They have high anxieties about you, Virgo. They want to message you. I want to know, what's their intention messaging you? What's their intention, please? Yeah. Queen of wands because they still love you they still have passion for you and they want to take action so they are coming with good intentions but at the same time wow yeah they're absolutely terrified so they are stressing about this it's like they're trying to find a strategy to say okay how can i message virgo now they could be afraid of again rejection they could be afraid of how you are going to react virgo but they have very good intentions they have that fire in their hand because they feel lots of passion and love towards you. So I would definitely hear this person out, Virgo, but they're actually their worst enemy because they're literally stressing themselves, like high anxieties. It's to the point they can't sleep because they're afraid. Could be afraid of rejection, how you might take this. But they're coming with excellent intentions, with that fire in their hand. They have that passion, they, that love that beautiful feelings towards you. And because you also have the page of wands, yeah, it's going to be a message with feelings because they feel so passionately connected to you. So I do feel though, inevitably, will this happen very soon? Not really, because again, their fears are holding them back, but I do feel eventually they will, yes, because the queen of wands is all about taking action. It's like they're going to do it. It's like, oh my God, yes, send. You get that idea. They're finally going to do things with their eyes closed and take action. Give this person a chance. See what they have to say. Thank you so much, Virgo, for joining me. Have an amazing day. Hello, Aquarius, and welcome to your bonus weekend tarot reading. Aquarius, let's find out who's coming into your life very soon, everything that you need to know. So these cards will be on your person that's coming into your life from their point of view, their perspective. So the point of this reading, or the, the actual um, aim of this reading is to give you a heads up, kind of like snooping around, but also giving you a heads up. So let's find out. It's all with good intentions. Let's find out who is coming into your life very soon, please. Three cards. There we go. Oh my God, there's definitely someone coming. <laughs> oh, three cards. Here we go. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Let's start with judgment. There's definitely someone from your past returning. You know this person. This is the card of resurrection. And it's going to happen a lot sooner than what you think. 
judgment speeds up the pace, but you're also going to have an epiphany too. You're going to see things very, very clearly. And this person is coming because they love you. That's the absolute honest truth. You've, you've got really good cards here. This person loves you. They want to be more than just friends. They want to take this relationship to the next level because they feel that connection, that attraction, that sexual connection towards you, Aquarius. And they feel they can be victorious with you. They feel that if they win your heart and if you feel the same way, Aquarius, it's going to be like victory, like winning the lottery. They're going to be like, yes, yes, oh my God, I can't believe Aquarius said yes. And the thing is, though, with the Six of Wands, this person, I wouldn't even be surprised. They want to show you off. They want to show you off, Aquarius, to the entire world because they are coming with very good intentions. They're coming with victory. And the Six of Wands does show that this is not going to happen overnight. I feel like both of you are even close friends. You've had your ups and downs even, but somehow this person wants some, they want to be more than just friends. They want to really take this to the next level. You probably haven't even heard from this person for a while and all of a sudden they show up and they say, I love you. I, I want to be with you. I want to get to know you. I want to take this to the next level. And they're coming with wonderful intentions. With the Six of Wands, I want to also give you a heads up. This person won't be happy. So let's just say, Aquarius, you agree, and I feel like you are going to agree to get to know this person. This person, though, has a few jealous people around them. So not everybody's going to be clapping. There will be a few jealous people, jealous of you, Aquarius, jealous of your person because you're together. They're not going to be happy. So here's a heads up. Whoever doesn't clap for you, well, they shouldn't just be in your life. Get rid of the losers in your life. Because this, yeah, this is definitely worth holding on to. Because this person, think of this person that's coming into your life. This is your life partner. So you don't even have to do anything, Aquarius. This person is coming to you. And you're going to be in a position of power where you're judging this person. But you're judging them with good qualities. Because you can see deep down in your soul and into this person's soul that they are just a good person. This is beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful weekend. Power to you. And I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.